Hello, good evening, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mad Morty. Welcome to Flossmas number 13. Gosh, 13. Wow, where is the time going? As someone pointed out, yes, it is only 12 more sleeps to Christmas, but that makes that 11 now. Unless I plan on sleeping through the whole of Christmas. Yes, pretty much. That sounds like quite a good plan. You know, excuse my drunk Santas on my head. They are definitely just on the slide. So this could be quite interesting. Um, I haven't got a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, work is the same as usual. It is one of those slightly frenetic weeks where you're just following on from... I can't even talk. I haven't had anything to drink yet. Following on from Tsunami Tuesday, we now have Whitewater Wednesday. <laughs> so it's been a little bit busy. Um, yeah, so I found myself in St. Austell on Friday for a meeting, which I wasn't expecting, which kind of fell out of the woodwork last night. But hey, oh, you know. So what have we got here today? Um, stitching wise, I've worked on calories at Christmas, Christmas calories. Now it's a little bit dimpsy this light tonight. Let's turn you up a bit. There we go. So we've got, I'll come, come to one side of it here. Uh, when you saw it, you couldn't really see the white ones. So they now have had their pepperminty stripes put on. And they've been outlined. Oh, I've still got to outline the heart bit. That's going to be done in a dark brown. And started the word calories. So we're, we've got calories and then we've got a, a topper to go on. And then I can move it all up a bit and work down the bottom here on the... Down the bottom here on the plate. On the plate stand. So... Might have it done by Christmas. Be something else to put in the pile so you're not framed for next year. Now they're off again. Right. Um, the Secret Santa is a quarter done. The items that I ordered from 123stitch.com turned up two days ago, but we didn't realise because somebody thought it was a parcel for him and didn't read it properly. <laughs> that was quite funny. <sighs> but it's fine. <laughs> so I, I mustn't do this, like, but it's fine. Fine. <laughs> Just no. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um. I, I also had it re was reminded. Excuse me a moment. <coughs> <coughs> Oysters, no problem. Right. I was reminded yesterday that I hadn't actually shown yesterday's tree ornament. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot. I just, like I said, Tsunami Tuesday, it was a hard day. So one of my favourite ornaments, um, oh, as always, I love, absolutely love Mill Hill. I just stopped myself going into Teresa mode then. Love Mill Hill. And again, amongst the first lot of ornaments that I did, you will have seen three of the six and I've only made four of the six on Instagram and that's the Mill Hill Charmed Stockings. These were my gateway into Mill Hill and I think they're probably some of the best beaded ornaments that they've made if in my opinion in my humble opinion they're some of the best they've made and you'll see them this week but um, they are sort of 50-50 beads, as you can see. Hopefully I can get a bit of the sparkle by making it go out of focus. But these stockings are made in several pieces. So you've got your main piece, your main body piece, and then the cuff is separate. You see, it's been stitched on afterwards. And these stocking stuffers are made separately and stitched to the back of the this, well, stitched behind the cuff. So you put them on first, you put... You stitch this, you stitch these, you stitch that, and then you you stitch these onto this because there's a the, you don't you don't fill in the whole of the back. Behind here is just plain paper, so you stitch these to the plain paper, and then you stitch the cuff on at a bit of an angle, so it gives it a bit of dimension, and then you add your charm, and they're just lovely, and you'll see the rest of them over the next week. 
for that to be going on the tree tonight. Uh, there's a joke. But I did have it. Hang on, I've got to, I've got to dredge the bottom of my brain because I've spoken since I looked at the jokes. Hang on. Right, what do you call a man who claps at Christmas? Santa Claus. I need to warn you. They're not going to get any better. Sorry. Let's not forget to... Um, <sighs> swear. Such such a couple of days. Anyway, um, Advent calendar, of course. So let's see what this box of deliciousness has in it today. Without dropping all the... What day is it today? 13th, isn't it? That one there. I have to look at the back. Um, I don't know. You'll see when I open this, because I'm properly puzzled today. plastic bag with two bright pink things in it what is it with manufacturers who think we all want pink nothing wrong with pink for those of you that like pink but i'm not one of them that's a big fan of pink certainly not that shade so it's Now, I might be wrong, but this is a sewing box, right? <laughs> I'm going to assume that they're what they call fabric clips. But they don't look like they're going to hold very well. So if there's anybody who could actually... <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Yeah, I seem to have two pink sort of clamps that there's this. It's no good. I'm going to have to look at the back of the box. I didn't want to look at the back of the box because then it tells me what's coming up. But um, I'm sure I've got the fabric clips already. It's decorative ornament. Bobbin grips. Ah, they might be bobbin grips. Right. Now, I don't actually have a bobbin here. But when you have a sewing machine bobbin, of course, she says, looking frantically around for something vaguely bobbin shaped. OK, let's just let's just use the let's just use this peculiar torture device. They sent us. OK, so your bobbin is 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 round, isn't it? And it's got too flat and it's stuff. And then I think this clips around it to hold the thread so it doesn't come adrift because that's roughly the right dimension for a bobbin I don't know where your mind was going but <clears throat> honestly yeah that's it really um, short and sweet tonight so that you can get on and go off and do your business whatever you're doing I will see you all tomorrow I hope you all stay happy wealthy wise and well don't forget to like comment subscribe ring the bell and I will see you tomorrow and yeah maybe I'll have worked on the other thing see you then bye <coughs>